Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for red velvet banana bread. So let me show you what you're going to need. You are going to need a box of red velvet cake mix, some pecans, vegetable oil, eggs at room temperature, I have one really ripe banana that I have mashed. The original recipe actually calls for three bananas, but we're not huge banana people, so I always use one banana and banana recipes and it turns out just fine. You're gonna need some chocolate chips and white chocolate chips. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our cake mix, eggs, and oil to a large bowl. And I'm just gonna combine everything with my mixer. And now I'm just gonna add in my bananas and mix it well. And now I'm gonna stir in my chocolate chips and my pecans. And I'll make sure, of course, to leave the recipe in the description box. And just give it a good stir. And now I'm just gonna pour the batter into a greased loaf pan. I'm using a nine and a half inch loaf pan. Okay, so I've got all of the batter in the muffin pan and I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna bake this for 30 to 40 minutes or until that center is done. Okay, so I just took the banana bread out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool in the loaf pan for about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it over and let it cool on a cooling rack until it is completely cool, and then we'll do the icing. Okay, so it's been several hours, and my bread is completely cool, and what I'm doing now is just kind of drizzling that white chocolate all over the top. Okay, so I'm just about done here. And of course, I could have taken a, a piping bag and it would have looked prettier, but I didn't want to go through all that trouble. And also wanted to mention that it did take a lot longer for my cake to bake. And I think it's of course because I baked it in a, in a larger pan. Um, and so mine took about an hour and 10 minutes to bake. All right, so now I'm just gonna let this harden and then I will cut a slice so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so that white chocolate has hardened up and I cut a slice so you all can see what it looks like on the inside. You can see those chocolate chips and those pecans throughout. This is such a quick and easy recipe. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. And also wanted to let you know, I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.